Okay, so what operation do I have here? Well, I've got five dimes coming this way, and then I've got four dimes going across. So what I have is four times five. Of course, five can be rewritten as three times two, or three plus two, right? So you could say I have four times three plus two. Now let's try out the distributive property here. And let me just move these down a little bit. So I'll move them down here. And now, without changing anything, I didn't even rearrange them really, I just moved these down a little lower. And now I have four times three right here, and then I have four times two right here. So that is four times three plus four times two. And of course, obviously they're the same number of dimes, right? Nothing changed. So there you can see right there that four times three is this plus four times two is the same as four times three plus two. Let me do something else now. Five can also be re rewritten as four plus one, right? So I have four times four plus one. Well, let's see if I can use my distributive property here again. I've got four times four plus one, or five, and that can be rewritten as four times four plus four times one. So I've got four down here and then 16 up here. It's exactly the same thing. So four times four plus four times one. All right, so that's just kind of a visual depiction of the distributive property.